and, and snaps minute, forever. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's six more minutes of snaps. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right so i mean that's that's simply on the list uh it's a good representation of something that i dream of and celebrate when it happens which is the accidental masterpiece <laughs> that is on what for me is queen's worst album <laughs> like there's not one other track on it that has like any real value for me as, as a listener and i love queen oh. it's just it's the one that's the most 80s synth poppy uh uh, yeah, it's, it's just a very dead record to my ears. And then this song comes in at the very end. So you know, like, there was no vision for that album that really applies to this song because it's so <laughs> outside of the, the quality of the rest of the record, for, for me at least. And it's also, like, the only feature where they have somebody else, like, come in and work on it. So for, for me, it's... Uh, uh, the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is one of those things for me where, like, the writer was just very on his game. The director was very on his game. Oh, the mm-hmm. actors were very on their game. Like everyone brought their best stuff to play and it just worked. And there are so few things like that for me that just are are impossible for me personally to poke a hole in. And this is one of those rare songs that I just feel like no one meant to make that song, but that's what happened. Ooh, that's an interesting way to think about it. I don't <laughs> think I ever, I, I did not know I don't think I've let you, you listen to albums. Mm. I, I've rarely listened to like, I'm like, I dig that person so much. I'm going to listen to a full half hour to an hour of them. I don't typically do that. Mm-hmm. Um, like I have like a six or 700 song playlist and I just put it on random and it's like Kiki radio, whatever comes on, it's a song I like oh. and I dig that. Um, but, uh, I do appreciate the album like the art of the album. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, that's never really been like my jam. Yeah, fair um, enough. But like, uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was on kind of a dud. Yeah. I don't that. know enough about it or to know like you, how well it sold or anything. I just know that like when I went through the whole Queen catalog, I was like, what happened here? <laughs> Under Weird. pressure's on this? <laughs> Yeah, I never, I never would have known that. Yeah, and, and for the most part, like their their records are like very solid. They're very conceptual. Like they have a sound they're aiming for and a quality they're aiming for. And this just doesn't have it. This song just seemed to have no place on that record. Is there anything else on that record? I, on that album, I recognize. Uh, maybe, but I don't. I don't think so. Oh well, okay then. <laughs> well, okay then. I don't. I don't. I'm trying to remember if there's another hit on it. I'm pretty sure there's not. And, that's pretty standard. Like even most like great classic albums have like three yeah. good songs yeah. that everyone knows and has heard a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that one, Under Pressure, is the standout by a thousand virtues. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> That's by a thousand virtues. Uh, yeah. I I dream of the day when we we have uh you know listeners and people care enough to argue with me about that. For for now, I'll just have to continue to feel that way about whatever that album's called i don't even remember oh yeah I i'm 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 sure that uh there are you know were we to have <laughs> more listeners than just the people who are gonna hear this on facebook yeah. um i would love it if, if three people heard this and they all took issue with that yeah or I have a feeling someone could take issue with absolutely everything we've said. Like, someone was like, That's I don't like dream, that. Baby. Another person's like, I don't like that. That's Another the person's dream. like, I don't like that. <laughs> so, like, I don't like any of these songs. <laughs> That'd be funny, too. All right. Well, well I think we're going to wrap up this episode unless oh, you have anything else yes. significant you want to you wanna contribute. Yeah. Or, that we haven't talked about yet. Yeah. What? what? Yeah. This next song. All right. <laughs> This next song. Dish it up and close us out. Am I? Oh, okay. I don't know what you're saying. Um, This next song uh, was written for me. It's true. By my husband. What? Who, what? Who's sitting across from me and is on this podcast. And I love it. He So this came out on his album, but this was not written for the album. It was written for me. And I love it. It makes me cry and feel special, and I love him. Um, oh, baby, I love you. I love you. So Mer- Mercury mm-hmm. or retrograde? Mm-hmm. I always say a retrograde. I don't know why. 
It's Mercury or Retrograde. It's my damn song. A Love Story by Full Forsyth. I love you so much, baby. I love you. See you next time, everyone. Here's Mercury. It's oh, I didn't think we were done. Yeah. Are we going to listen to the song and then talk more? Okay. That's fine, too. You don't want to? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, here's Mercury. Mercury. By me. By me. About Kim. <laughs> About Kim. About Kim and me. Yeah. How am I gonna how am I gonna tell them how I got the song? Okay. You cut me off, you're like, yeah. well now we're done. No, no. No, we're I'll, not done. I'll edit it so I didn't cut you off. <laughs> I can make either one of us look good. <laughs> I don't know, I kinda like it like Coins wait. in the air. <laughs> yeah. I doubt it much.